Open up on seven. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117. Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits of the universe. Places that would make your bolts rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom. The iron holding no balance. <laughs> Greetings, new fish. I'm... Captain Quark. I... I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being... You. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet and Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on a holo film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me! Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I... I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh-huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank! Does that ship look mag-lifted to you? Come on, give it a spin. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up, do you see something flashing? Yep, left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner lights. Look down, you see something? Lower left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space-worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. And so, Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Rise and shine, Kizzle Plateau. Ratchet bashed his enemies using his trusty Omni Wrench. In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time honored tradition of jumping. Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. Oh, uh, I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed like three out of five gunshot wounds. Mm -hmm. 
Displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe he was just saving up bolts so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story? <laughs> His enemies vanquished. Ratchet forged ahead. His destination? Destiny. by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. things up. We've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool. Good job, recruits. You may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Head to the final challenge. Come on, Ratchet. You can do this. It's time for the final challenge. Survive a brutal onslaught of enemies, and you just <laughs> might be our next Galactic Ranger. Or... Nice. Whoa. Looks like some angry toads. Impressive. Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Another one down. Come see me after the show. Huh. That wasn't so bad.
knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the deep Victor. You never disappoint. Feeble Defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his back. The young Defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless Defect had to throw a spring bot, but where and how? <laughs> You useless piece of scrap! Get back here and let's settle this! Warbot to Warbot! Oh no! Water! Suddenly, the defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? You won't get away from me, sir. I've got him right where I want him. You can run from me? Not that route again. Get back here, you miserable defect! Try out running this! I'm gonna rip you apart, sprocket by sprocket! Water!
million thoughts raced through Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto-engine on in the garage? The answer to a... Questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. Large gaps were child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. Nice, a combustor. Ratchet basked in the freedom of being able to switch weapons whenever he felt like it. Impressive shooting. doing here I have information in my databanks that poses a threat to chairman Drek. he must have tracked my position to your planet so he could get it back Ratchet had to think fast perhaps the hook shot would solve his current conundrum Grim, listen to me I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter I'll be there as soon as I can Copy that, Ratchet. Ratchet was in a bad way, hurt, confused, and alone. He scours the Kizzle Plateau for signs of nanotech. Also known as the Dropship of Death. Great. some defect. Ah, uh, it's... Not that bad. You got clean air. Warm heat of the sun. Yeah. Oh, no. The Blarg are all over Grimm's garage. Grimm, are you okay? 
Hi, Krim. I got this. and then, you know, wing it. Can you open up? Ratchet, what in Zoni's name just exploded? Sorry about that, Grim. Listen, get my tools ready. I just found something in the desert I need to look at. In Interesting. What kind of factory is this? This? No, oh, this is just a garage. Lived here since I was a kid. Come on, let's get you fixed up. Well, it's damaged, but I fixed worse. Come on, maybe there's someone in town who can help us. Wait a second, is that raritanium? Maybe we should upgrade our weapons first. a lot of bad guys. Attention, citizens. You may have noticed we are in the midst of a small, insignificant invasion. <gasps> we are working hard to contact the mob so we can find a reasonable resolution. But until they return our calls, it's probably best to yeah. remain in your home. Got it.
Them. That must be the mayor's ship. This is a transmission for the Galactic Rangers. Please, we need assistance. This is Agnog Buckwash, mayor of the Toadless Crater of Nogal. Mayor Buckwash will not last long without our help. Happy to be of assistance. Why is Dret trying to kill you? It's my nephew, Skid McMarks. Wait, Skid McMarks, the pro hoverboarder? He sent me this infobot from Iridia, and the Blarg have been after me ever since. Here, take a look. Hey, Uncle Bobwash, Skid McMarks here. You know, your nephew. My agent and I are at the awesome grand opening of the McMarks Sports Shack here on Iridia, and boy, is this been a trip. I've gotten to meet all kinds of people. Fans, celebrities, my Gadgetron sponsors. I even got to sign autographs for these odd-looking creatures called the Flarg. <laughs> I guess they're doing something here on Iridia. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Hydro Harvester. Sounds like Skid McMarks is in trouble. We gotta... Get to Iridia. Agreed. But we must first repair our ship. Okay, let's see if we can find some help. Rescued by a furry hero and his robot friend. I will now resume regular office hours, which is every third Tuesday from... the last of them.
What are these things? They appear to be amoeboids. According to my database, they were created by Drek Industries in order to assist the warbots. Holding his breath, our intrepid Lombax delves the depths of uh, deepness. Bad guys, get ready! They keep coming! clear. Well done.
very good at breaking things. You know, Grim once said the same thing. must be the way out. And jumped, and seriously, what's with all the jumping? I see him. Let's get him! He's the real great... Who's going to save us now? Oh, hello there. I'm glad you're here. I've been... Hey, have we met before? Because I'm getting a touch of the old deja vu. Oh, hello there. 
I see you're having a little transportation trouble. Why don't I meet you by your ship? We'll get you squared away and ready to fly. Did that guy just slide down a sewer pipe? <laughs> well, it does look like the fastest way down. Let's give it a shot. Want to do it again? Okay, let's see what we got here. And so, Ratchet and Clank set out to fix their ship with the help of the plumber. Little did they know they would soon come so close to greatness, they'd be able to hear its mighty biceps ripple. But for... Not only could they set their new destination, each planet came annotated with fun things to do, courtesy of the Freeloader's Galactic Almanac. 